What's up, Anoka? It is the last Monday of February, you guys, which means we've only got eight days left in trimester two, and February is running out of days. As we close out the month, we want to continue celebrating Black history. Here's our latest Black History Spotlight. What's up, everyone? It's V Suervo, and some of my influences are Nicki Minaj and Spike Lee. Both are very confident, rule-breaking, boundary-breaking people who I feel like contributed a lot to Black history. You guys might not think Nicki contributed to Black history, but she did. But yeah, I feel like both of them are very great, well-rounded people. And on a personal level, my parents are one of the biggest influences of my life. They keep culture very, they keep it because like, you know, we're in America, but they don't like take away my Black culture or my Liberian culture because they want us to use these to, you know, carry these influences to America. Like now we have like Afrobeats and stuff are more mainstream in America. So like, yeah, my parents are definitely my biggest influences. With trimester two winding down, it's time to start thinking ahead to try three and any schedule changes that you would like to make. The schedule change window opened up today. Please review the request change criteria and complete the schedule change request form before March 8th. If you want to take part in Anoka Spring Musical Shrek, get down to the orchestra room today mm -hmm. after school for auditions. You should bring you should bring a 30 second to one minute audition piece to perform. I think Raya should audition for Donkey. She'd be really good at that. Um, in the yeah. best way possible. You know, I've actually been told that I look like Lord Farquaad. So <gasps> Wait, <laughs> you should do that. <clears throat> I'll be Fiona. Okay, oh. no I'm kidding, I'm kidding. Um, <laughs> I was trying to think of who Lord, Lord Farquaad was, like, it's a lot with, but... Oh, you wanted to be my little girlfriend? <laughs> yeah, I did. But, okay, um, later tonight, the National Honor Society hosts their annual induction ceremony in the auditorium. <laughs> this is... Okay, okay. This is an event that just... I think I flustered great. This is an event meant to celebrate the new members of the society and the four pillars of NHS and the commitment. <laughs> okay, and the commitment to excellence and academic. Speaking of commitments, now is the time for seniors here at Anoka High School to commit to college. Ooh. We here at Tornado TV want to give a quick shout out to some of Anoka's recent college commits. Check it out. I'm Carmine. I'm a senior at Anoka. Um, next year, I'll be attending Arizona State University. I chose that school because my sister lives in Arizona. Also, I kind of want to get out, you know, explore the world a little bit. And it's a big campus. I want to go to a big campus. I'm majoring in um, political science with a minor in Spanish. Hopefully going to go be a lawyer. Um, and probably my least favorite part about picking a school is there's so many options. Like, you never know. You can go East Coast, West Coast. You even kind of go, like, to out of country school, so I don't know. It's kind of hard to choose where you really want to go because it could kind of dictate where your life ends up, so yeah. Uh, my name is Terrell Cummings, and I'm a senior right now, and um, I'm committed to Eau Claire, actually, and I'm studying marketing and communications, and then I chose there just because, like, it's not too far from home. It's really affordable. Really, any YAC school is affordable, and, like, I still get to play football, so... Me personally, I'm pretty sure I'm going to the U. I'm committed to St. Ben's. Uh, thank you for all of you who shared your college commitment. We'd love to hear more from you. If you've recently committed to college, trade school, or an alternative option and would be willing to share your choice, please reach out to us so we can celebrate your commitment. On Wednesday night, you can join Anoka's STEAM program in celebrating their Try 2 projects. The STEAM Showcase and Professional Review Night runs from 6.30 to 8 p.m. and offers a great opportunity for NOCA STEAM students to get feedback on their projects and to share the work they've been doing um, throughout the try. Next, we want to run down some senior reminders. First, please submit your photos and videos for the end of the year senior videos. Submissions can be made to at Anoka2024 Senior Video on Instagram or email ahs underscore sr video at ahschools. Dot us. Also, remember to register for the senior party, which will take place right after graduation at the Mermaid. 
Tonight, the following clubs take place. ASL Club, Spectrum, Art Club, Tornado Force, Hispanic Student Union, Speech, and Jazz Band. Also happening down in SC171 is Anoka's After School Homework Help Center, Lighthouse. If you need help understanding your assignments or if you need a quiet place to study, this is the time of year to make use of Lighthouse. It runs from 2.30 to 4.30 tonight and Wednesday night. Today's lunch is mac and cheese and shrimp poppers, Southwest chicken salad mm -hmm. and turkey avocado wraps. And then, now let's pass it over to Greg with the weekend sports update. Thanks Grace for the pass. Let's start things off celebrating the accomplishments of senior Sydney West, who competed in the MSHSL AA individual all around gymnastics competition this past weekend at Roy Wilkins Auditorium, where she placed fifth on the bar and sixth on the beam, seventh on vault and 17th on the floor, and finished fifth place in the all around. What an incredible way to finish the high school career. NSPN captured her in action. Check it out. Another team that put an exclamation point on their season was the Noka Cheer Team, who competed in the 12th Annual Wow Factor Sports Cheer and Dance Championships at the Minneapolis Convention Center this weekend, where they placed second in the division. Where they placed second in the division. The cheer team will hold an open gym session tonight after school for all interested in checking it out. Congratulations also go out to Wesley Dante, Abe, and Levi for qualifying for the state boys swim and dive meet in the 400 free relay. Uh, the speech team took second in Princeton over the weekend. I caught that. It was yeah, another yeah. impressive performance by the speeches led by Mabel Goslin, who took second in discussion. Isaac Stokes, who finalized in both creative and humor. Um, Anoka also put four in the top eight in drama. Next up is Fridley as the session inches closer to sections. Finally, Anoka hosted the, the Section 7 AAA Individual Wrestling Tournament on Saturday, where Gigi Braggs captured the 170-pound gold. Austin West won the 152-pound division, and Oliver Oilman wrestled his way to the X in the 160-pound division. Nice. Hey, Anoka, I'm Warren, and I'm here with... Uh, I'm Austin West. I'm Oliver Oilman. And could you walk me through your championship? Match. I won a close match in my semis and then my finals. I had a kid from Cambridge and he took me down in the first. And then second period, I chose both up. I took him down and then I pinned him. Uh, my, my championship match, it was, it was a tough match against this kid from Elk River. Um, I caught him in a headlock in the first period and then he reversed me. So at the end of the first period, the score was 5 2. and. And in the second, I, I ended up catching him in some knee pick thing and pinned him on the edge of the mat. Last year, I didn't get to wrestle because I got a staph infection in my knee. And then this year, it was just like, it's my goal to win state. And that's about it. Yeah, last year, the team made it to state. I, I didn't personally. This year, it's the opposite. Um, I'm looking forward to it, though, going for first. Um, could you show me like the moves that you guys did on the other, one of the guys? <laughs> Spring and Sport Activity Registration is now open and there's a bunch of teams looking for new members. The boys volleyball team will hold an open gym day on March 7th 
The spring trap and skeet season is also starting soon, so get your registration forms completed ASAP. The boys golf team will also have an informational meeting Wednesday morning, February 28th at 710 in room B16. Finally, the girls softball team will hold their tornado softball informational meeting on Thursday, February 29th at 245 in the cafeteria. These are just a few of the many sports and activities available for spring. So make sure you pick up the registration form from the activities office. That's all for sports. Here you go, Raya. Cut it off. Oh. Nice throw, Greg. We're going to run down this Monday's Tornado TV with a lip sync challenge. Ooh. I'm Raya. And I'm Grace. And that's the news for you. Bye-bye. Yep. No, it's just lip sync. It's just lip sync. It's not even for real. Yeah, just be like, breathe. Okay.